G'day everybody, Sean from Bourbon Brothers here, looking at our second bourbon in our October box. We're looking at the George Remus Straight Bourbon out of MGP. So the Remus is an ongoing release from MGP, it comes in at 94 proof. It doesn't carry an age statement, but the company states it's aged for over four years, and it's an undisclosed mash bill. George Remus Straight Bourbon Whiskey is labelled for its namesake George Remus, also known as the King of the Bootleggers. German-born Remus was a lawyer, bootlegger and criminal during the Prohibition era. In November 2016, MGP acquired the rights to George Remus brand from Queen City Whiskey Company and is now selling several versions of the George Remus bourbon under the label. There are some in the media who have called for MGP to rebrand this product line due to Remus' sordid past. George Remus was born in Germany in 1876 and migrated to Chicago at the age of five. His father was incapacitated when he was 14 and George supported the family by working at a pharmacy, which he bought at age 19. Within five more years, he bought another drugstore, married and had a daughter. He became a lawyer in 1900, age 24. He specialised in criminal defence, especially murder, and became rather famous. By 1920, he was earning $50,000 a year, and that was when gold was $20 an ounce. He divorced after developing an ongoing affair with his beautiful and ambitious secretary, Imogen. Alcohol prohibition started in January of 1920, and with a few months, Remus saw that his clients, a generally crude and ignorant lot, were becoming very wealthy very quickly. He was sure that he could do better than them with his intelligence and his knowledge of the law. He memorized the Volstead Act, the act that enforced prohibition, and found loopholes where he could buy distilleries and pharmacies, so as to sell liquor to himself under government licenses for medicinal purposes. Most of the liquor would disappear on the way to market. He moved to Cincinnati because 80% of America's bonded whiskey was within 300 miles and bought up most of America's best known whiskey manufacturers. In less than three years, he made $40 million. In 1995, that was the equivalent of $760 million. He bribed hundreds of police, judges and government officials, including 500,000 to the US Attorney General. George and Imogen held a lavish party at their new mansion on New Year's Eve of 1922-23. The guests included a hundred couples who were well connected as one could imagine. At dawn the Remses presented all the male guests with diamond jewellery and gave each guest's wife a brand new automobile for the drive home. That was their high point. Prohibition enforcement stepped up shortly and Remus found himself sentenced to two years in Atlanta Federal Penitentiary which was, for the rich inmates, much like a luxury hotel. When Remus was in prison, his wife Imogen took up with an extremely handsome Prohibition agent named Franklin Dodge. Dodge soon resigned from the Bureau of Prohibition. Together, he and Imogen liquidated all of Remus's assets and hid as much of the money as possible. They did various shifty things to him, such as Imogen gave George $100 as he shared the proceeds when she sold the Fleischmann Company. At one point, she tried to have him deported, claiming his father had never become a citizen. Dodge and Mrs. Remus reportedly offered a gang $15,000 to murder George. Imogen proceeded to divorce him in late 1927. On the day the divorce was to be finalised, on the way to court, Remus had his chauffeur chase the cab carrying Imogen and her daughter through Cincinnati, finally forcing it off the road. Remus jumped out screaming and shot her dead while her daughter tried to stop him. Remus, the expert criminal defender, was now on trial for his life. The trial made national headlines for a month, sharing front pages with Lindbergh's flight to Paris. Remus pleaded temporary insanity, a novel approach at the time. Having been the most generous man in town, he was very popular in Cincinnati, and so he successfully vilified Imogen and her boyfriend Dodge that the jury deliberated only 19 minutes before acquitting him by reason of insanity. The courtroom erupted in shamefully exuberant jubilation. The state of Ohio then tried to commit him to an insane asylum since the jury found him insane, but prosecutors were thwarted by their previous claim, backed up by the prosecution's three well-known psychiatrists, that he could be tried for murder because he was not insane. Remus tried to get back into bootlegging, but soon retired when he found that the market had been taken over by vicious, well-armed gangsters. He moved across the Ohio River to a relatively modest home in Covington, Kentucky, and lived out his life for another 20 years in relative obscurity. So George Remus bourbon is the flagship bourbon for MGP. This small batch bourbon is a high rye blend of bourbons from MGP, with a predominant focus on cherry in its nose and palate. George Remus straight bourbon delivers a really good sip from start to finish. The rye plays nicely in the finish, providing just the right pop to round things out. It's an easy sipper and it's full of flavour, which will help remind consumers that MGP is capable of more than just producing whiskey for other brands. Let's give it a shot.
So on the nose here, you'll pick up that brown sugar, the cherry, those summer berries, and just a little bit of oak. It's a really rich nose. So on the palate there, you'll get cherry pie, vanilla, and the aged oak. The finish, that rice spice really comes through beautifully. Bit of leather, bit of oak, and it's long, and it's lingering, and it's enjoyable. I hope you enjoy the George Remus, and I hope you enjoy the journey. Cheers. In November 26, by 1920, he was earning $50,000 a year in, no, in <laughs> By 1920, he was earning $50,000 a year in those, how do I even say this, in, in that time's money? <laughs>